The families of four Somali American teenagers have reached a settlement after Minneapolis Park police officers handcuffed the boys and held them at gunpoint. The Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board resolved discrimination charges filed with the Minnesota Department of Human Rights for $170,000. Reg Chapman has more on how these families are using the settlement to begin the healing process. We're happy today to report that this incident is uh, behind them, uh, but they're still traumatized uh, from what took place. It was an incident caught on camera that the four teens involved say will live with them forever. I was scared. Um, I thought that would be my last day of this world. The incident began with a 911 call claiming there were four males holding knives and sticks near Minnehaha Falls. The caller also said one of them claimed to have a gun and that they were assaulting her boyfriend. Months later, the teens were still shook up over what happened when park police confronted them. When the cops came, they just pulled guns to our faces. He told me to get down and then he handcuffed me and then he picked me up. He, he slammed me in the ground. I was scared that they're gonna, one was shaking and you know, like I, th I was scared that he was gonna shoot me. Body camera video released by Park Police show the interaction between officers and teens. Police found no weapons. Witnesses came forward and their account of what happened was different from the 911 callers. This incident, we believe, we would not be standing here talking about it if it wasn't for the courageous, determined, and um, uh, important witnesses and bystanders who not only recorded the incident but also came to the aid of the young people. We know. Lay down. The video is hard to watch, but Sarat Guffey, mother of Adam Guffey, speaking through a translator, says families are determined to let the settlement signal the beginning of healing. And so uh, obviously this incident was very traumatic and to heal from it will take time. Rich Chapman, WCCO, four names. The park board and the families involved all agreed that a settlement would avoid the cost of going to court. It also means that the park board and park police do not admit to any wrongdoing.